Mount Merapi on the island of Java. Merapi is Indonesia's most active and dangerous volcano. But despite the danger, the slopes below Merapi are intensively farmed. Java's volcanoes have created some of the most fertile agricultural land on Earth. With 120 million people, Java is the world's most densely populated island. Yet it's self-sufficient in food. The fertile soil allows farmers two to three harvests a year, with little or no need for fertilizer. But in spite of this natural abundance, there's a vital ingredient missing from Java's soil. It's only needed in minute quantities, but for millions of Indonesians, it can mean the difference between health and happiness or a lifetime of handicap and misery. Dwi Asnoan is three years old, but he cannot yet walk or talk. He's sick because he's not getting enough iodine in his food. Iodine is a trace element usually present in tiny amounts in soil and water. Because it's missing from his parents' land, his food is also missing it. <laughs> this morning, two other children suspected of having the same problem have come to this clinic, which specializes in iodine deficiency disorders. <laughs> Dr. Untung is director of the clinic. Iodine deficiency kills children. The most serious damage happens in the womb and in the first three months of life. Without iodine, children suffer from a range of illnesses we call iodine deficiency disorders, or IDD. There may be three million children here with IDD, and we don't have the money to do expensive lab tests. So we have to rely on visual observations like this. Dwi's mother, Mahmouda, has had a swelling on her throat since her early teens. It's a strong sign of lack of iodine. Iodine is needed by the thyroid gland, normally invisible, to make hormones needed to control vital bodily functions. When there's not enough, it has to work harder and expands, producing this telltale swelling known as goiter. So it's no surprise that her child is also unwell. <laughs> All three mothers have come from the village of Sengi at the foot of Mount Merapi. While goiter is the best known sign of iodine deficiency, the most serious damage goes unseen. It takes place in the months before and after birth. Damage done at this stage of a child's development is irreversible. In areas where iodine deficiency is endemic, a high proportion of babies are born seriously underweight. And there are many stillbirths. Mahmouda's neighbor, Suryani, is about to go into labor. Those with goiters are generally weak and in poor health. You sometimes see people with swollen limbs, but the worst thing is when children are sick. With three of her neighbor's children sick, Suryani feels her unborn child is at risk. An extreme effect of iodine deficiency is cretinism. Cretins suffer from severe and irreversible mental and physical retardation. They're usually very short and may be partially deaf. How old are you? Eh? How old? I'm 66. Do you have children? No. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Don't you want to? No. <laughs> Goiter and cretinism are only the most visible sign of the far wider 